Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, just like we've done with the other browsers, we're going to go into the Microsoft Edge and take a look at the privacy settings. Check it out. All right guys, just a quick disclosure before we get started that this is a video for Microsoft Edge and the privacy settings in Edge. If you're looking for Google Chrome, go ahead and click on the card in the top right hand corner and that will take you over to the video for Google Chrome. So again, this is a default installation of Microsoft Edge. I haven't gone in, adjusted any settings. This is exactly how it comes with uh, Windows 10. So what you're gonna wanna do, of course, is pull it up any way that you want to. I don't have it marked on my taskbar or saved. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the start menu and just type in Edge. And then I'm going to hit enter or left click on it and that'll open up the edge program. And then what you're going to want to do is come up here into the top right hand corner and click on the three little dots that are in a kind of a, in a line formation, left click on that. Come on down to that menu that pops up and left click on settings. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down to where it says view advanced settings in that menu. Once you do that, it's going to open up another kind of a, another uh, list of different types of settings you can do. You're going to scroll all the way down to where you see privacy and services. So in here it says some features might save data on your device or send it to Microsoft to improve your browsing experience. Uh, this is default unchecked. Do not send or do not track any type of request. We're going to leave that as is. Uh, have Cortana assist me in Microsoft Edge. Cortana is just a Microsoft's uh, artificial intelligence program. If you don't want her to assist you, you can go ahead and left click on that and you can toggle these on and off. Uh, search engine in the address bar with Bing. You can change your search engine if you want to. You just click on change search engine and then if there's any other options in here, you can choose those and then click set as default or if you don't want them, you can left click it and then click on remove. Going back, scroll back down to the privacy settings. Uh, show search and site suggestions as you type. Again, just like with Google Chrome, as you start typing things in the URL bar up here, it's going to start giving you suggestions and you can go in and turn those off if you don't want those on. So again, these are all default. Most of them are actually default on. So you can go just toggle that off. Uh, show type of search history. So if you've gone to that website before, and as you start typing that website again, it will show you the history that you've gone to that site before. You can turn that on and off. Uh, clear Bing search history. If you've used the Bing search bar, then you can go through and you can click on this and it'll go through and clear that search history. Optimize task, uh, taskbar web search results for screen readers. Uh, that typically, I believe, is for um, like uh, tablet mode or things like that that will allow you to go in and make it a little easier for uh, web search results. Show sites I frequently uh, visit in top sites. You can left click that on and off. I don't see any top sites on this page here if we opened up a new tab. Ah, here it is. So yeah, as you browse, it'll show up the web, the websites as you browse them will show up under the top sites if you visit them frequently. So what you can do is go back into settings, come back down to that option right here, show sites I frequently visit and you can turn that off and that'll prevent those websites from showing up in those top settings or those top sites. Uh, and also here is the Bing search bar right here. You can see, so if you want, you can check, you can check you can see that I've searched a few different things on here. The ones that are actually like kind of like a purplish color, those are ones that I've actually checked or uh, searched for. And then the ones below are just trending now. So if we go back down to settings, view advanced settings. Again, you can go ahead and block cookies, uh, block them all, don't block them. You can choose, again, cookies are just uh, media, media files or internet files that save onto the computer to allow that specific web page to load a little bit quicker. Uh, you can go through and block those. They aren't necessary, but they are helpful just so you don't have to download that information every time you access that website. So uh, let, si uh, let sites save um, protected media licenses on the device. So as you go through, watch videos, music, stuff like that, uh, it's going to download different types of media licenses and save them onto the device so you can access those quicker. You can choose that on or off, kind of similar to cookies. Use page prediction to speed up browsing, improve reading, and make overall experience better. Uh, again, prediction to speed up your browsing. As you start typing, it'll predict what, you wanna, what you're trying to type in. If you don't want that on, you can just select that off. Help protect me from malicious sites and downloads with Windows Defender Smart Screen. So yes, I would leave that on. It is default on. What that does is it goes through and as you browse the internet with Microsoft Edge, it will use the Windows Defender Smart Screen to go through and scan that site and make sure that it's safe. And if it's not, it will alert you, letting you know that it's a malicious site or there could be problems with it. So there you have it. That's just a quick run through of all the different privacy settings that you have on Microsoft Edge. I will go ahead and post up a link in the description below the video 
And what that will do if you click on it is it will go through a little bit more in depth on what these could actually do for your computer or how to adjust them according to how you want it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you found the video useful, give it a share. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.